very Austic here. What are we going to talk about today? I know, let's talk about this. The Kimco Like 125i scooter. Do you remember we did the static review back at the old farmstead? What I said was we'll go out today and we'll actually do the mobile one. It's only going to take about 10 minutes but at least it gives you a feel of, of how the bike handles. It allows you to uh, have, a, have a go and how it actually sounds. Uh, we'll be doing the third and final review which is my likes and dislikes um, and we'll do that in a third episode possibly in a week or two's time but this is just uh, as I said a quick 10 minute video just to allow you to get an idea of what the thing's like on the road of our Kimco like 125i scooter so here we go on our Kimco like 125i scooter little twist and go no gears dead simple they love them out here there's probably more two-wheel scooters on the road than there are motorbikes I guess in the UK it's the other way around certainly a lot more motorbikes than there are scooters but on Italian roads and in Italian traffic then uh, your little twist and go is exactly what you want this thing's super maneuverable easy to control uh, there's not it's not Euro 4 compliant in that it's got anti-lock brakes these little scooters uh, don't rely on that what they do rely on is the left brake what would be a clutch on a motorbike uh, is the front and back brake locked together so uh, you pull your left hand brake lever uh, and both brakes come on I think it's a great idea um, I think I mentioned in the first video that we've actually had one emergency stop when somebody pulled out in front of us so I grabbed a handful of that left hand brake lever uh, and the scooter stopped almost on the spot brilliant absolutely brilliant um, the uh, handlebars are quite close together as you would expect from a scooter so counter steering you would imagine is a little bit more difficult but because it's so light the wheels are so small absolutely no problem at all you can filter on this and whiz around the little streets with absolutely no problem at all with 100% confidence as far as top speed is concerned uh, I guess you'll probably get to a top end of 50 odd mile an hour uh, but that's not why you buy little scooters like this it's about economy uh, they only cost a couple of thousand whatever euro pounds to buy they're cheap to insure nearly a hundred uh, miles to the gallon whatever that equates to in, um, in kilometers to the litre i'm not sure but uh, certainly miles to the gallon it's the end of a hundred uh, dead cheap to insure simple to service uh, and to be honest they're great little uh, great little bikes we'll be doing quite a few visits to towns and little villages uh, and we'll be using this Kimco like 125 i scooter to uh, to visit all these places so you can join us on our little travelogues as we uh, as we move around Abruzzo, Abruzzo in, uh, in Italy cruising along here about 80 kph which is probably about 50 mile an hour it's got plenty of power left and we've got a pillion on so you know, it does very well at that nice and easy A couple of times and it's, uh, it's rain. The protection obviously around the scooter is very good. We've still got the windscreen, bolt-on windscreen on, which is an optional extra on this particular model. But that protects you from all the weather. And you've got the little kind of plastic bearings either side, so that keeps you protected from the weather as well. Um, so there's no problem with the rain. Uh, I do tend to tiptoe around quite a bit because I've absolutely no idea who makes the tyres. So, uh, you know, if it said Dunlop or Pirelli on the side, then I'd probably have a little bit more confidence. But, having said that, we have been out in the rain uh, and have had absolutely no problems uh, with grip at all. So, we're just coming to the end of this uh, quick review on the Kimco Like I125 
at a scooter, you're on board compliant. We've done the static review at the old farm said we, uh, we've done this mobile one now and if it is time I'll wrap it all up with our, what I love and what I hate about the Kinko bike 125 scooter and I, uh, without putting any spoilers in there I can assure you that uh, the what I hate about it is a very, a very short list indeed. Um, so, uh, from Sunny Abruzzo this is uh, various things saying, ciao ciao for now.